Hi, me again. Um, I want to talk today about uh, Sarah Palin. Well, I don't know much about Sarah Palin. I don't really want to know much about Sarah Palin, to be honest. Um, so I don't feel myself, you know, I can't talk about her policies or anything like that. Um, because I'm not into, I don't get interested in politics because it's confusing on purpose. Um, but I read this interesting thing on MSN this morning. Palin team admit spending spree. Election campaigners have admitted spending more than £90,000 on clothes and makeup for Republican Vice President candidate Sarah Palin. Now, um, you know, I, need, I know that she needs to look nice for what she's doing. That's, uh, you know, that's absolutely fine. Um, but what made it interesting for me, right? Yeah, but you can look nice on less than like 90 grand. Do you know what I mean? It's what Primarchs fall off. Who do cop is in that? Well, why are you bloody representing a country of people that that's all they can afford then? Anyway, um, the expenses were unearthed by the website politico.com, but initially the party refused to discuss them. So they were like, Oh, been found out, shit, don't say anything, right? Until we've worked out what we've got to say. Um, and it says, um, uh, but it says that they'd al always intended that the items would go to charitable purposes after the election campaign. It's like, if you'd thought at the beginning, I know, we'll do this just to make it look nice, but we'll give it to charity. It wouldn't have been unearthed because you'd be saying, look at us, we're doing something for charity. But you didn't. You went, look at us, we're doing something for Sarah Palin. And then at the end, went away, didn't discuss it and thought, I know what we'll do. We'll say that all the time we were planning to give it to charity. It's like, you know, charity. You know, the country does not need more Neiman Marcus dresses. Do they make dresses? It is Neiman Marcus, isn't it? Um, you know, that's not what the world needs. We don't need somebody to look extra specially fab so that she can rule the world and then pass it on when it's mucky. Um, and then this one just takes the mickey. A McCain spokeswoman said, with all of the important issues facing the country right now, it's remarkable that we're spending time talking about pantsuits and blouses. All right? It's like, no, when you consider that the important issues facing the country right now are financial, and you go and spend 90 grand on pantsuits and blouses, then it's very much a bloody well issue. And that is just, you know what I mean, the fact that they can turn around and say, oh, look at you, just bloody moaning because she's got a new wardrobe. It's like, it's not the point. McCain, as I've said before, doesn't know how many houses he owns. These are not people that are qualified to make decisions for your everyday man and woman on the street. They're not qualified. They're greedy, which means they get it. Doesn't mean to say they earn it or deserve it. They just backstabbing and they will get whatever. I remember reading um, recently. Sorry if I get the details wrong, peeps. You know I'm not that, I'm not good at that kind of thing. Um, but a, a piece where um, you know this big sort of scandal on earth because she'd got this chap sacked because it, there was um, or she got a chap sacked who wouldn't sack a chap that was splitting up with her sister and stuff like that. And it was found out and proved that she abused her position of power. And this proves that she has abused her position of power for herself. She is out for herself. And yet we still stand there like little puppets, clapping. Oh, yeah, no, I just got Lily makeup on today, ain't she? Yeah, I really believe her. It's, so it's not really like a slaggy off Sarah Palin thing. It's a slaggy off the world thing. You know, can we please just wake up and realise that this kind of stuff is wrong, man? This £90,000 on pantsuits and blouses could have been better spent on the economy. Could have been spent on the people. 
of your country. Rather than one person, you could have kitted out an entire town for that money at a normal shop. But because one person wants the absolute best of everything, she gets it. Why? Because she's corrupt enough. We have to just stand up and say, whoa, please, this is not fair on the rest of us, you greedy gits. We're meant to share. I know we're educated not to share, but that's a whole other thing. And it's about um, 80... The National Committee has been helping the McCain campaign financially, financially now that Mr McCain is locked into spending only $84 million for the campaign. Only $84 million. Do you not wonder at all why there is economic meltdown in the world? Because greedy people stash it for themselves. They grab absolutely anything they can get their hands on. It's me, me, me. And we are just learning that from them. You know, if you don't want skeletons coming out of your closet, if you don't want scandals, which is all politics bloody breeds these days, all you ever hear is politician in scandal, politician in scandal. If you do not want scandal, then don't lie in the first place. Do we get it? No. Do we allow them to do it? Yes. Please, just... She thinks she's a bloody pit bull Rottweiler, mate. <laughs> Love to all. Bye-bye.